Hello, what's up, Gleb? Alexandrov here for Creative Shrimp. Today we're gonna talk about Gamro. This is a support session slash frequently asked questions. Selling digital products is fun, all the tech is at our fingertips, and we can do so much more with this uh, than, say, 10 years ago. That would have been impossible or even unthinkable. And now we have so many different platforms uh, to digitally distribute our stuff, like Gumroad, like Blender Market, obviously for Blender products. Let's talk a bit about Camero today because Heidi and me have been receiving a lot of emails with questions about how can I access the product when I lost the link or accidentally deleted the email and we thought it would be helpful for us all to record this kind of a short video with the frequently asked questions and possible solutions to all of that, especially if you consider Camero as a platform for selling your digital products because maybe you would like to start your own passive income venue and you're considering different options. The number one question is, how can I give the product as a gift? Actually, that's very easy. For example, if you'd like to give Space VFX as a gift, that's often the case, because you know Space is cool. On the product page on Gumroad, you just press I want this, and then you go ahead and press this button that says give as a gift, and you type in the email address of this lucky human being to whom you would give this product as a gift, and then you can go ahead and compose some brief personalized message and that will do the trick. After you type in the payment details and hit pay, this chosen one will receive the links and will be able to access the product. The question number two is, what is this VAT thing that is added on checkout? So, for example, the product costs initially $60, but after you click I want this, you may see the different price, like $74. And that is the value-added tax that is being added on top of the original cost. That is true if you happen to live in one of the European countries because the European Union has passed the law of the value-added tax for digital goods. Question number three, I've deleted the email with the link. How to regain the access to the product? So you just go to your inbox and search for you bought and then add the name of the product. You bought Space with Fix or Hard Ops, the amazing ad done by Jerry Perkins. And then you just click on this link to get to this email by Gumroad and then click view product. That will instantly teleport you to the Gumroad product page and you will be able to download, watch videos or whatever. And in the case you created the account at Gumroad, it's even easier. You can just go to the Gumroad product page, for example for Space VFX, and then click this button that says View Product. But once again you have to have an account on Gumroad and you have to log in first. So that's the alternative way to access the product. And one more thing you can do is just to go to gumroad.com slash library. So let's just type it in. Press enter. And if you aren't logged in, you will see this menu. And if you are logged in, let's try this out. Just type once again gumroad.com slash library. And it will show the list of all the products that you got. And then you can click on the icon, press view product and voila. And the question number four, why is there a charge on my account? So let's imagine you have bought the product twice. Then just go to gumroad.com slash charge and enter your email address. And if you used the credit card, you type uh, the last four digits of your card and press search. And if you used PayPal, you type the invoice ID. Then hopefully the Gumroad stuff will help you to sort that out. And you can contact support at gumroad.com. And of course, you can also contact us. Eddie or me, the links are in the description. Okay, the problem number five is video is not playing online. I'm getting an error. So normally you just uh, press watch and you can watch videos online without needing to download it. So that's all good and fancy and you can enjoy the space. But what to do if you get this error? First of all, let's open Chrome. Uh, go to the Chrome settings by pressing this button and then scroll down till you see this advanced button. Press it and then search for the content settings. Let's open it. And in the content settings you will see this flash. If the allow sites to run flash checkbox is turned off, you need to enable it. And you can either disable the ask first button or add the Gumroad site to the list of exceptions. So click on the add, type gumroad.com 
and hopefully that will fix this bug. And another dreadful bug is some videos have no sound, and something tells me that it would be better to watch this with sound. I know this often happens with a quick time player, and we are working to find the solution to this issue. We think it's Codex. Meanwhile, the workaround would be to download the free and open source VLC player. So just Google for VLC player, check the first link, and after that just download VLC. We know this is an additional step that probably you wouldn't like to take, but anyway, we'd like to share this tip with you. Number 7. I haven't received the link after purchasing the product. What can I do? Uh, the easiest thing is just to go to creativeshrimp.com, press contact, and then you have my email, or alternatively, you can email to 80 at cgmasters.net. The amazing support team of two nerds will be happy to help you. Of course, you can also reach out to us on Twitter by tweeting or sending a direct message. But I think that to be able to send a direct message to AD, you have to follow him, and AD has to follow you. So that's what we can do. Use email or use Twitter or Facebook or whatever else. We're the global nerds, we use the different channels for communication. So don't hesitate to drop us a line, we'll be right there. Mm hmm. Alright, folks, that was Gleb Alexander for CreativeShrimp.com. And guys, if you have any more questions, just feel free to contact me or Heidi Burroughs. Probably I should leave the links right there, kind of here, in the empty space. And feel free to check our typography tutorial as well, because why not? Press like, subscribe, and write in the comments below if you were to use the digital. G Sorry. If you plan to sell projects digitally, what platform would you use? Would it be Gamrot or anything else? Post in the comments below. Drink more coffee and we'll change the world of computer graphics.